what's going on guys today I'm doing a video on the spectrum this is the advanced Wi-Fi router um, I think I have the gigabit line whatever whatever it is so the problem with these routers is they won't allow you to connect any of your old devices like this as you can see here I have a Xbox 360 and I also have a Nintendo Wii we used to have a PS3 but obviously it broke you're gonna get this every time you try to connect see there's my network and every time you try to connect it's just gonna fail it's gonna fail uh, I've seen videos where they tell you to manually type in your uh, you know type in the name manually so that it can pick a 2g network it just it'll never connect uh, I'll show you what the Wii looks like when I try to connect it as well. Alright, and so here's the Wii trying to connect to the same network. And you'll get that code every single time. So there's a real easy way to fix this, and it's real cheap. It is. It does cost a little bit of money, but you can get them real cheap. What you do is you buy one of these. These are real cheap on eBay. I, I bought this one for $8. Um, this is just a 2.4 gigabyte or gigahertz router. Uh, make sure that it's a 300 megabit router, though, if you're going to play online with your, uh, your 360. So I'll show you that now and how to set it up. It's real easy. All right, and here it is. You can see it's nice... It's tiny. It's like the size of my hand. <laughs> um, so when you first get this, what you're going to want to do, there is a reset button. You want to plug the router in, hold reset for, I think, 30 seconds. You'll see the light on the front flash a few times. You're going to plug an Ethernet cord into the yellow plug. And then on your router here... You're going to plug it into any one of these. I'm just going to plug it into number one. Like that. Now that that's plugged in, you'll give the router power. And you'll see, this thing is so tiny. You'll see it lighting up. As soon as this turns blue, we'll try to connect to each console, and you'll see that it works perfectly. Well, it's actually pretty quick. Um, the reason you want to reset it is because you're buying these used. Obviously, it's eight bucks. Um, so the password, somebody could have changed the password and all that. So, all right. So now I'll try to connect the Nintendo Wii, and we'll pick up from there. All right, as you can see, I'm connected to the Belkin. And uh, we'll test the settings now. And there you go. So, I'll be if, <laughs> if you have a modded console, click no for that. So, the Wii is up and running. Now, I'll show you the Xbox. Now for the Xbox, if you do get this where it fails, you're see I'm connected to the, the Belkin. All I'm going to do is power cycle the Xbox, and I'll show you that now. And then we'll turn it back on. As you can see, it says I'm signed into live. So we go over here. And we look at settings. It says that I am connected. Everything is good. 
So I hope this helped you out. Like I said, you can get these. This particular brand is the Belkin N300. Um, I got this for $8 with shipping on eBay. Uh, there are other routers. Just get a really cheap one. Um, I know the Linksys routers are like all over eBay. Um, make sure you get a, a wireless G. Don't get a B. Get a G. Uh, and just make sure it's 2.4 gigahertz. And, uh, you know, spend as least amount as possible. Like I said, I got this for 8 bucks. So, and definitely make sure it's a 300 series router. 300 megabits or megabytes. And you'll be good. You can get your Xbox, your Wii, your PS3 back online. Thanks for watching. As you can see here, I paid $2 and then like $5 to ship it. So the total came to eight twenty six. So to comp find a compatible router, you're going to type in 2.4 gigahertz router. Just like that. And then I would sort by buy it now. And then you can sort by lowest priced first. And then chances are you're going to get... Um, See, here's a, a Cisco router, but it has no adapter. Uh, let's see. Here's another Belkin, $7.99. Uh, here's the one I bought. Same exact one, $13. Uh, here's another one. These are the ones you're going to see a lot of. There's a lot of these. And these are really good routers. I actually had one of these routers. Um, but you can see it's $6.99 and then $6.78 shipping. The only downfall, I can bet almost $100, if I click on it, it won't have the power supply. So, let's see what he says here. Lightly used router. Please note, no power adapter. So, yeah. Just, uh, these are really good routers. If you can't find the, the Belkin. Uh, like I said, just make sure it's a 300 megabit don't get one that has the 2.4 slash 5 gigahertz. Just get a straight 2.4 gigahertz. And you'll be fine.